April 28, 7.45 p.m. This dog had the dirty blood discharge for the last few days actually. The owner decided not to operate yesterday and brought the dog home after treatment. The white cell count was extremely high and there was a lot of neutrophils as well. So this was a case of open pyometra. Actually it was a closed pyometra which has opened up. Now this morning I talked to the owner and the owner said that the dog has become weak again and uh, the vagina is just keep on coming out. So I advise the emergency spay as that's the only way to save this dog. Otherwise she would just die from the toxemia, septicemia. So the owner brought the dog in and was it was uh, she was spayed at 2 p.m. by Dr. Daniel. And now it's 7 p.m. Uh, 8 p.m. You can see the dog is much more alert and there's no more discharge. She has drank some water and now we give the food and medication and put further in. Uh, and you can see that uh, the dog actually is really hungry. It's really hungry, but very difficult for her to eat. Uh, and you can see the AD dies. I put the medication in and. Uh, the dog really uh, likes it or it seems to like it but not as much but anyway so the main thing is to see the operation site this was done uh, done about uh, six hours ago by Dr. Daniel the dog was paid actually and uh, in these type of cases normally I would do is just open the big incision and take out the uterus. This uterus was swollen with pus. It's bigger than those ordinary sausages you see. Okay, and uh, there's no need really to use a spay hook. Now, we, we just take out the collar first. Maybe it's difficult for her to eat. We just, just pull out, yeah, take out the e-collar and uh, see whether she can, she can uh, at least eat without the e-collar. Because sometimes the e-collar is to prevent the biting of the wound. And uh, uh, doesn't seem to be much interested in the in the food, but she will eat overnight. Uh, we put back the e collar in again to stop her from biting her wound. But overall, the owner came and saw the big swollen uterus, and uh, so I'm I'm quite sure this 14 year old dog will uh, will survive and uh, uh, live a, a longer life. Now she had two days of drips and so she, she actually was quite fit for surgery. Uh, April 28, 2014, APM. Open Pymetra, Terrier Cross, female, 14 years old. The dog should have been spit young and there wouldn't be, be this problem. There's a the breast tumor as well. I will mean, show the breast tumor as well. And uh, I forgot to show just now. If you see below, she had this uh, breast tumor on this side. The other side was removed by a vet two years ago. And uh, you can see that one, the lumps are there. And uh, if, if the vet had, had spit the dog maybe two years ago, or the owner has consented to spaying, then there wouldn't be this problem of uh, or unlikely to have this problem of breast tumor developing. But uh, this is history now. And uh, most likely the breast tumor will be removed uh, three weeks later. April 28, 2014, Topaya Vets, Singapore.